All right, so Dante, it's, it's been a wild ride for you. Y'all have been growing like a weed, it seems like. So in these last nine years that you've been in existence, what were some of your most memorable moments? Absolutely, thank you so much for having me here, Jackie. Um, for those who don't know, the Atlanta Music Project started in 2010, one year after uh, the 2009 TED Prize was announced, which was given to Dr. Jose Antonio Abreu, who founded El Sistema, a music education program in Venezuela. And so uh, we were founded in 2010, and our mission is to empower underserved youth to realize their possibilities through music. Our bet is that if you have a child, teenager, that is a really good musician, a singer, violin player, guitar player, what have you, we think that they're going to have developed great character traits that can lead to success. And so we started in 2009, or 10, with 19 students coming to an after-school center in southwest Atlanta for two hours a day, five days a week. And over the years, we've had some cool successes. Um, for example, our choir students performed the national anthem for 70,000 people at Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the champion Atlanta United soccer team. Whoa. <laughs> How many of you are familiar with Tiny Desk on NPR? Yeah. <laughs> and so we got to perform on TI's Tiny Desk last uh, July. So if you just look for it on, on uh, YouTube, you'll find it and uh, see if you can identify some of the students in the picture um, with some of the ones that are on stage, because some of the ones are the same. And then, how many of you know R&B singer Monica from College Park, Georgia? Woo! Yeah. And so we did one of her songs um, at, a, at an announcement called uh, Angel of Mine, and it was rearranged uh, for string orchestra and choir. So those are three pretty big moments that I can think of. That, those are pretty huge moments, I would say. <laughs> so um, rumor has it that you have a new facility. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. So we've been working in the 30310 zip code. And uh, this is a building that uh, I drove by many times on Dill Avenue near Wait, Oakland where, City. Where is, Station. where is this? This is uh, on Dill Avenue. It's uh -huh. about a five-minute walk from Oakland City Martyr Station. The neighborhood is called Capital View, for those who, who may know. And so uh, we're working on it, we're working through a capital campaign, but in a few weeks, it'll look like this. So, so I'm gonna put Dante on the spot here. Um, is there a possibility that we can do a little adventure to your facility? I think we can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So um, I understand that um, before we, we meet some of the young musicians, um, there are some really big plans for the next 10 years. Can you tell Absolutely. us about that? And uh, it's going to be a continuation of the young people here that can come on out now. And um, for the next 10 years, we're going to, yeah. <laughs> And so for the, for the next 10 years, um, we're going to be focusing our, our most advanced students at the headquarters, which is the this white circle here in the middle. And the students you see before you are part of our red circle sites. They're sort of after-school programs that are very intensive, four or five days per week, an hour or two a day. And we're going to expand. We, right now, we serve 350 people per year. And we're going to expand about 500 in the next two, three years. And the black circle on the outside are sites like Boys and Girls Clubs, uh, other rec recreation centers, YMCAs, churches, really any institution that would want to have us perform, um, that's where we're going to end up partnering. So if you know of any institutions that want to have a music program, we're happy to, uh, to hear from you. So. All right, cool. A round of applause for Dante. Thank you.